as we know, the immune system attacks the beta cells in people who have type 1 diabetes. The beta cells are the insulin producing cells that we have in our organ in the pancreas. And what we would like to do is we would like to generate more of these cells because we know that this is the main problem that they are facing. There's a certain amount of plasticity in cells. And uh, um, even a cell that has a single function like the beta cell can over time change. During embryonic development, that happens a lot. So you start out with a single cell, the egg, fertilized egg, um, which then divides into multiple cells. And then those cells begin to take on specialized forms. So eventually you get cells that make up the eye or the brain or the liver or, or the pancreas. And then on top of that, even after a cell is sort of specialized into a, a functional cell like a beta cell or a, or a liver cell or a brain cell, those cells are still not static. And there are certain circumstances in which they can themselves change into another cell type as well. We can now take cells from our skin or from other places in the body that we can easily access and we turn them into stem cell equivalents. It allows us to rebuild things that in type 1 diabetic patients are broken. And this is really the, the core of what regenerative medicine is about now, is to try to get cells in a very controlled and directed way to form a particular tissue or cell type that you need. To generate something from scratch hasn't been achieved, but we're getting very, very close in doing this.